Yo, what is going on YouTube? My name is of course Cam and welcome back everybody to another brand new Minecraft video on my channel. Today we're going to be covering some hot and loving Minecraft news that isn't only just about the Minecraft mob vote but also as well about Minecraft 1.21. And yep, you heard that one correctly right there. This is about the next update to Minecraft and what could be coming within it. Now we've actually gotten some leaks of course regarding that and I'm going to let you guys know in advance that this is some stuff that may end up actually being true of course so be sure to maybe, maybe, maybe not watch ahead if you don't want to get the spoilers of course but regardless if you do keep watching. Now going on over to Twitter this is where our news actually begins. Now a lot of our news for the leaks of course today really 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 primarily kind of exist on Twitter but this actual initial bit of news of course comes from the user God Sonnet. Now for those of you that don't already know God Sonnet is actually a leaker um, or an insider kind of leaker of course from Minecraft news and he actually pretty much well in advance before anybody knew leaked actually what the models for this year's Minecraft mod would be. So we're going to go through his tweets and we're going to begin with the first actual major kind of tweet regarding all the leaks from October 2nd that says so someone DM me about a supposed leak for the Minecraft mob vote. I haven't leaked anything regarding Minecraft Live 2023, including the mob vote. Anything you see is likely false or likely fake, and any screenshots or DMs from me are fake unless it's posted on Twitter from me, it isn't me. The very next day on October 30, he put up a post still saying, get ready to cast your vote for either the crab, penguin, or armadillo during the 40 hours of this year's Minecraft Live mob vote starting on October 13th. Don't want to wait that long question mark, vote in my unofficial poll below. Now, if you don't already know on October 3rd, actually that was the day that the Vote the Crab trailer came out. So we didn't already know about the armadillo or the penguin. So of course, clearly his actual sources were correct. Now moving on from there to his more recent tweets, he put up a tweet last night saying, get ready for Minecraft Live. The leaks start tomorrow, first being a new hostile mob question mark. Keep an eye out for the next few days. And then just 10 hours ago now, he made a post with two different emojis, one of a lady blowing and another of an explosion. Now, obviously, with that information, it was very little. Pretty much, probably nobody could guess what that actually means. But when you dig a little deeper, you actually find out that he's referring to something. But before we fully get into that, I want you to keep that in mind. But we're going to go over to another leaker now. This individual is called Moam or It's Moam Off. Now, this person themselves have actually leaked a few different things as well. And they are actually verified to be a good leaker also. They also, coincidentally, as well, are actually followed as well by actually God Sunnet and also another leaker that we're going to talk about in a few minutes. So clearly, they're actually related or somewhat friends with these people. Now, Coincidentally enough, they also tweeted out today as well, actually with two different emojis, just similar to God's son, and in fact, only an hour after they posted. Now these emojis here are, again, as you can see, of course, a knife in what looks to be some sort of temple. And again, without any context, it doesn't really make any sense, but keep it in mind. Now I wanna talk about one more leaker, and this person here is called Kaggle Martin. Now they themselves are way more popular in terms of following than both Moam and obviously God's son it combined, but they are also very important to this entire conversation. See, 15 hours ago, they tweeted out a photo of a blaze and said don't try it tiny frog me and my breeze can easily knock you back and then obviously of course some photos or some emojis excuse me of a woman blowing air um now again without context it seems rather strange but when you think about it blazes don't blow air they fire obviously fireballs they then retweeted that tweet and actually said you were the chosen one it was said you would defeat the combat trial chambers and steal all their loot, not join it. And then they went on to retweet that tweet that I just read and said, bring balance to the crafting, not leave it in automation. Now, I know that I've been kind of leading up to something and I know that you're probably guessing like, what the hell are you talking about? What, what is this all getting at? But let's actually get into that. Well, jumping back to God Summit, the initial actual leaker that we mentioned at the very beginning of this video, we're gonna jump back to their tweet from earlier on today, which was of course the initial actual emojis of a woman blowing air and an explosion. Now, when he actually initially posted this a lot of people like what you'd imagine asked obvious questions as to what does this mean and obviously more of them actually asked interesting things of course regarding you know what is this it, what does it actually represent as you can see there was someone here called crunchy cookie saying lady blows then explosion and then someone else big if true someone else what does this mean someone else obviously crunchy cookie just tagging echo soldier and ibx toy cat and then an individual by the name of ted zimmy who actually just put a reaction obviously of an emoji face now in the replies to that emoji there was a few different people speaking but one individual by the name of LFC underscore Philip actually responded back in Polish, but when translated to English, said there were leaks that there was to be wind blaze in the overworld. Now this got me quite interested because wind blaze? What, what does that mean? You know, you, what? You know what I'm saying? I'm a little bit confused here. But upon further digging through this person's actual account and what they've liked and what they've retweeted and what they've tweeted, I found a post that they actually liked from an individual or Twitter user called Mine Context. Mine Context had tweeted out just earlier on yesterday saying, Leak, a Reddit user whose account was banned on r slash Minecraft posted a leak of Minecraft update 1.21. 
below is the translation of the image. Now, of course, here is said image, and we're going to read out right here right now. Now, the poster by the name of Few-U8784OP, of course, original poster, as you can see, posted up saying Minecraft 1.21 will include a new structure for combat, which uses two new block types. It has a brand new mob in it, which is an overworld blaze that shoots wind at you. There's also auto crafting, which will have a UI. There's also a new spawner, which will spawn mobs based off certain things and will spit out loot when you win. Now, after reading that, obviously, of course, initially I was rather confused because I'd found this not in the order that I'm telling you. I'd found this actually in the order of finding that tweet first before I'd actually really looked all throughout the entire leakers tweet. But when combined with the knowledge of the actual leakers that I've just mentioned, of course, prior, it actually sounds like it starts to add up and kind of somewhat sound related. But even more weirdly enough, something that I noticed when I looked further into this was actually just the banners of God's Son and Mwam. Both their banners on Twitter are the exact same. If you look at right here right now, you can see there's a hopper going into a crafting bench for some reason on the left. And then on the right, there's a dispenser above a spawner. It's almost as if they're trying to tell us something. Now, I will just say, I did try looking into the user a few you. I looked all throughout Reddit and I couldn't find them at all, actually, unfortunately. It seems that not only their account was obviously, of course, banned from the r slash Minecraft subreddit, but also it was either deleted off Reddit entirely, pretty much straight away, or it was removed by someone else. Now, I'm not entirely sure what happened to the account. I guess nobody will be, of course, until the foreseeable future if anything ever comes out, which I highly doubt there will be, but it's rather strange, isn't it? So yeah, the Windblaze may be the next hostile mob coming to Minecraft in the 1.21 update. And if these leaks are correct, we could also be seeing automated crafting, which is uh, something that I would never have expected to see in Minecraft. Now, additionally as well, if it wasn't already clear, by the first actual, of course, emojis posted by Godson, I think the emojis were, of course, referring to the Windblaze. But the second emojis posted by Moam are entirely different, and I think they refer to perhaps a combat update. Again, that's just with a grain of salt, though I'm not entirely sure, and there's been no confirmation from the leakers to exactly what these emojis mean, but it does seem rather strange. Anyway, moving on from the 1.21 update actual, I guess, leaks, of course, we're gonna go talk about some Minecraft mob vote news. So starting off, we've got some great news, which is the actual button for the Minecraft mob vote, of course, has actually appeared on the Minecraft main menu. Now, if you click it, of course, this is what you'll see. It says Minecraft mob vote, of course, or mob vote, starts in, of course, and I'll have the timer, watch trailer, learn more, and obviously you can't connect to the server at the minute because it's not been running, but it says cast your vote, play mini games, and more. Cast your vote for the next Minecraft mob in our special event server. Choose between the armadillo, the crab, or the penguin, and vote using the in-game lever. You can also play mobtastic mini games, meet the hosts of Minecraft Live, indulge in a spot of parkour, and more. The winner of the mob vote will be announced at Minecraft Live on October 15th or 15th of October, starting at 5 p.m. UTC. Tune in via Minecraft.net net or our youtube channel and see if your chosen mob wins and then moving on from that we've also got some more minecraft live and minecraft mob vote related news um but it might not be the best news for some of you now some of you may remember the other day i made a video called mojang shares new mob details in chinese now this video itself was covering some actual details that were otherwise not mentioned in english but were mentioned in chinese regarding the mobs more specifically though the crab and the armadillo now the information itself wasn't really that kind of different than what we've already been told but one piece of information was actually quite different and it was actually a bit of a game changer for some people and actually really affected what they were going to vote for this year and that was regarding the crab not only being able to just place blocks but also break them however unfortunately it has actually been rectified and clarified that that actual information was false it's what a user by the name of gas powered peck tweeted by saying note that the china edition mob vote page which previously stated that crab claws can also place blocks further which i'm sure he meant to play he meant to kind of correct that by saying break blocks further was updated to no longer say this was the case in turn this may not be a fully reliable source at least pretending or at least uh, pertaining to whether crab crab claws can break further or not. And of course, he actually shares the actual, I guess, Chinese translation, of course, and obviously the actual mobile page being updated uh, on 10th the 10th. Uh, which is quite unfortunate, of course. I'm sure for some of you that were going to vote for the crab, uh, that if you did hear that news, of course, the other day, we're quite excited. You know, the, the idea that it can place blocks further was great, but being able to also break them was a, a massive bonus, a massive good bit of great news for some of you guys. Um, but unfortunately, that was actually unfactual or infactual, um, at least from uh, this clarification. But yeah, everybody, that is the end of today's video. Thank you guys all so much for watching. If you did go to enjoy it, please be sure to drop a like in it, share with your friends and family, and leave a comment letting me know what your thoughts are on all the information I covered in this video. And also, of course, it goes without saying, please be sure to subscribe to stay up to date with the latest Minecraft news, leaks, and information from all over the world on the channel straight away as soon as it's out. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys on the next video. And everybody, peace out.